Okay, so welcome everyone, and thank you for coming to our live webinar session. Today, we are looking at how to measure the efficiency of employee training. I am Obi Elijah, Head of Pre-Sales and Customer Support. Um, at the end of this, we would have a Q&A session, so please send your question in the chat in the Q&A session. Um, I am originally from West Africa, Nigeria, um, Lagos to be precise. And um, so please let us know where you're joining us from in the, you know, in the chat. And, you know, we just want to know where you're joining from, what city, what country. And um, yeah, so welcome, welcome once again. Welcome to everybody that has joined us. So, um, before we start, um, you know, before we go into the topic, let's start with who we are. What is Clever LMS and what makes us qualified to talk to you about measuring efficiency of employee training? So Clever LMS is a platform, is a corporate platform for, for creating interactive training, goal-oriented management, and advanced an analytics. It does this in a way that is convenient and effective. With Clever LMS, you can create comprehensive training courses with simple, intuitive built-in tools. You can you you also have 360 view on um, analytics that will help you motivate, monitor, and improve team and individual performance. What is more, our platform is a fully customizable branded product that works across the web, iOS and Android devices. Clever LMS can also be integrated into your existing system. So Clever LMS in numbers. So we have been in the market since 2014. We are trusted by 2,300 plus companies in 20 plus countries, and we have over 1.5 active users worldwide. So the outline for today's um, webinar would be, you know, why it is important to train um, your staff. Um, we will go through the traditional staff training methods and how to measure the cost. We would also go through online training, the features and advantages, um, what makes us element, um, Clever Elements stand out. Uh, we would also um, look through measuring the effectiveness of online training implementation that is um, the clear and monetizable metrics, uh, recommendations for conducting a pilot calculation uh, of the cost of a pilot, and then we would see some case studies. Uh, and at the end of this, we would also have a very short uh, presentation on our um, web, our mobile version of um, our user interface. So please, you know, stick around. It promises to be you know, insightful, interesting, and um, I will try to keep it simple and interesting. So yeah, let's get into, you know, the topic for today. So we can all agree that investing in employee training is, a, is an important step for business because it, is, it increases staff motivation, improves productivity, and the quality of work. So employees who are trained are more likely to have long-term commitment to their employer as, as well as perform better at work. And all this translates to a better and stronger company. So we would look at the traditional staff training method. So employee training gained popularity in the 1980s. And since then, many methods have been introduced, refined, and implemented. Some of the traditional um, training methods include uh, classroom training. So the training usually lasts for one or more days in a physical venue on or off-site. Um, groups of employees go through a series of presentations, slides, and activities. Um, like case study assessment or information on company poli uh, policy issues. Unfortunately, the disadvantages are many. So you have to rent venues, you know, the travel costs and catering um, 
um, makes this training method costly. So employees also find this approach to be boring. Um, also, we have the interactive training here. It usually takes the form of um, simulations, scenarios, role plays, quizzes, or games. However, they can be time consuming when done in person, especially when learners require regular feedback from the content experts. Also, we have on the job training. Um, with on the job training, employees participate in real um, activities that relate to their current or future jobs. Um, the experience can be too stressful for some employees. Um, it's, it is definitely time consuming uh, because of the quick, uh, frequent input required, not to mention the havoc that can be caused if there is a serious mistake. Um, there, there are also other types of um, you know, methods like coaching, shadowing, and so on. But the cost involved in organizing them and the time of senior staff required could become enormous even with just a few hundred staff. Uh, with traditional training methods, there is also the big problem of, uh, of um, data. You know, um, it's difficult to track employee progress. Uh, you can't really tell what skill each employee has. Yes, they all went through the training program but how much material were they able to assimilate? So this is also, you know, one of the problems that this um, traditional method has. So now let's consider, you know, the the let's let's make a breakdown of the company's expenses when using this traditional method. So um, the first is that you have to pay the coaches, mentors, or external instructors for the duration of the training. Um, you have to pay for printing and preparing for all the training materials, so pamphlets, booklets, etc. Um, you pay the travel expenses, the cost of rent, usually a big venue for um, a number of days, uh, refreshment for staff during break, and you have to come up with a motivation package, you know, to say thank you for coming. <laughs> So all these are just the direct costs. So now there are also the ones that are called the indirect costs, which include the time of expensive personnel um, for um, training new hires plus imputed costs, um, losses you incur from inefficient work of untrained employees, um, the cost of re uh, recruitment and uh, rotation, plus the cost of onboarding with const, uh, constant rotation. You also have um, salaries for new hires, uh, post-training um, rotation and layoffs. So all these are the indirect costs. And then we also have the, the hidden cost. So um, for example, the time you lose from the work hours. So traditional training are usually carried out during work hours. This training, which could have been used to bring in profits to the company will be lost. Uh, incidents, accidents, you know, code violations, the penalties the company may may pay as a result of you know all this um, on trained staff. Also, you have um, the the low efficiency and productivity. So it's simple, and on trained staff is not a productive staff. So. That's just as easy as, as as simple as it gets. So, if if your staff if your staff is not trained, they are not productive. So this is why we've taken it upon ourselves um, at Clever Elements to to share this, to make people aware, to make companies aware um, of 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 this uh, method of um, training. So. Um, when you use an LMS like Clever LMS, so now I'm going to talk about the solutions that we prefer, that is um, the online training. So when you use um, an LMS system like Clever LMS, you can avoid all the disadvantages and unpleasantness of traditional learning system. Um, you save time. It's been estimated that e-learning or online training saves, saves up to 45% of your organization's time in comparison to classroom learning. You save money. Everybody wants to save money. So LMS may seem like a big investment, but in reality, 
Um, it actually offers plenty of opportunities to save money. So um, organizing a classroom training would require, you know, transportation, all the things I mentioned, uh, lodging, and staff also need time to settle, you know, before they start the training, actually, before they start learning. And all these hours are lost. The company still pays salaries to, you know, this um, staff. And this is far more expensive than just opening a laptop or a phone in a place and a time that suits, you know, each learner. So this is, okay, so this is um, very important. So we save time, we save money. Um, we have better engagement. So in Clever Elements, for instance, you can incorporate quizzes, um, situation scenarios and other interactive elements in training journeys. Um, gamification coupled with a strong and intuitive UX design makes training more appealing and effective. Also, we it, it ensures consistency because regardless of the like, location or language, each of your learner gets a consistent learning experience and standard. And also you have access to valuable data. So in a case where you have to replace an employee who left unannounced, so Clever Elements would help you to, you would help your succession planning by showing you who has the skill or the skills and competencies to step into their shoes. So you can see who is committed to the training program and their professional development. You can see who is doing the bare minimum uh, you can you can easily check uh, compliance statistics. You can also know which employees are struggling with a particular material, and you can help them. Um, also, it reduces um, staff turnover. So, with all we have mentioned above, the consistency, flexible, interactive, and engaging training, targeted inventions to help your staff and better and have a better succession plan, all these are likely to increase employee satisfaction and retention. And of course, all this will lead to your company making, you know, profit. So let's talk about Clever Elements. So um, with Clever Elements, we go beyond just providing you with a system to manage training. We provide you with a fully customizable and brandable system for creating, managing, and tracking employee training, engagement, and motivation. Um, you can use brand styles and color palettes to have a system that your employees are familiar with. The interface is simple, friendly, and intuitive. So um, it's fully customizable, basically. Uh, we have an open API and it can be completely integrated with other systems um, that you use. Uh, we have built-in authoring tools for complex training courses. Um, like I said, it's available on iOS, Android, and web, and web, and basically any device would work with our platform. Uh, one of the most important features, data. So you can, you can have, you can have access to flexible and advanced statistics, analytics, and automated reports. So that. Yeah. Um, what makes us stand out? So um, Clever LMS stands out from other LMS um, solutions because we have flexible and advanced business intelligence reporting. All the tools, metrics, statistics that you need to make sure that all the positions in your company um, have the right people, that the staff have all the knowledge they need to carry out their duties are available. Uh, we present all this information in formats that are easy to understand, like graphs and charts. Um, our own built-in authoring tool and media library um, integrated online meetings and webinars with attendance check. Um, you can see what employee has joined what meeting as well as when they joined and left the meeting. 
um, a feedback and rating system, leaderboard and awards. Um, also, you can make all your corporate training into autopilot mode. So you can just, you know, make everything automated. So now let's get into um, calculation and, you know, how to, you know, uh, how to measure the effectiveness of, or, of this implementation. So um, one way is definitely through calculation. So you can uh, compare the entire budget spent on traditional training. So remember, this includes direct, indirect, and um, hidden costs. Uh, to the budget um, to be spent on online, you know, training. So you can have a comparison. You can just calculate. Also, you can, you know, have um, pilots. So with pilots, you have um, staff efficiency. So the result, so you can check the result of employees per day. So uh, you can also, it's also applicable for personnel with measurable indicators. So sales, number of clients, um, served, and so on. So the speed of product or service launch, so you can see um, the change in the result of the company, um, in the company as a result of the introduction of a new system. So basically, these are just ways to, you know, how, these are ways on how you can check the effectiveness of um, implementation. So. Um, also, you can see the speed of onboarding and adaptation. So the effect on uh, the effect of the adaptation processes uh, on the speed at which the staff and um, uh, they reach their plan target. So you can see all this. Also, um, we carry out our calculation. Um, our focus is clear on clear and monetary is is on clear and monetizable metrics like um, staff efficiency. So if previously employees used to have five accidents a month on average, and now there is none, this translates to more money saved for the company. Uh, because of course you cut out the, uh, the cost of the accident and maybe uh, paying for hospital bills if it's that serious or equipment and machinery and all that. So also you uh, budget saving. So um, the difference in the cost of organizing traditional um, training versus online training. Also the speed of uh, onboarding staff. So reduction in the number of days spent on onboarding would definitely equal to more work days which would definitely equals to more money. And the speed of releasing the products uh, on the market. So these are all the um, clear and monetizable metrics that we focus on. Um, also, <clears throat> I would like to give you some recommendations for conducting a pilot. So the purpose of the pilot launch is to test the hypothesis about the economic feasibility of a full-fledged implementation. So you can verify um, only those hypotheses which are based on monetized metrics. So hypothesis testing equals split testing. So the target audience of the pilot and then the reference target audience should be similar. Um, hypothesis should be formulated and digitized, so you should have a record of this hypothesis. You should, you know, make it, um, you should keep record, basically. Um, the methodology of data collection and analysis should be agreed upon in advance, so you need to put into consideration how exactly you want to compare, how you want to analyze, this results that you'll be getting, and you should do this in advance. And uh, the, ref the reference uh, target audience should not know about the conduct of the pilot and the methodology for analyzing the results. So it should not be public. So you take a particular group in the company and you just use this hypothesis on them, 
use this um, pilot on them and they're not allowed to share this information with the people that are not part of the program. So at the end of the day, this will make your results more um, interesting and more, and you would have more comparison. Because of course, when staff know what is happening, they would definitely want to be the better team. So you have to make this, you know, like a secret agent kind of, you know, thing. Okay, so next is the duration of the pilot project should be sufficient and limited. So sufficient and limited. So you should have a time frame where you want to, you know, complete uh, this pilot project and you should it should not be too little and it should not be overboard. So you just have to put everything into um, perspective. So basically, how do you calculate the cost of a pilot online training implementation? So, um, so conducting a pilot pro uh, project is an expensive and resource intensive process because uh, pilot uh, cost uh, components, that's pilot cost comprise of the rent of the LMS system uh, with restrictions on um, you know, installation, functionality, number of um, license or time allowed, you know, 10%, cost of implementation, that's content plus staff working hours plus imputed cost, that's 30%. Um, Profit not received. So the difference in the financial indicator of the reference and pilot group of uh, the employees. So if that's if the pilot is completed successfully, so it will be sixty percent. So the best pilot is one that has already been, been done for you. So you want to make sure that this pilot project is you know one that has been done with maybe a subgroup in your in one of the departments or in one, in, in one um, area of the company, one department of the company. So uh, if, if there is a similar project or business in which online training has already been implemented, first try to get data from colleagues about the economic impact um, of implementation and recommendation. So yeah, basically, so. So now, um, so um, we're going to talk about some, you know, case studies, some examples. So um, zero budget for training new hires. So the largest manufacturers of cosmetics, perfumes, and air, uh, air and body pro uh, body care products. So um, up to fifty percent rotation of merchandise staff per year. Training method, coaching by direct supervi uh, supervisors. So this didn't work well because five days of the supervisors are allocated mandatorily for initial training of new IS. Um, there are 10 people per team, so five new IS per year. Um, supervisors spend 25 working days uh, per year per year or, um, you know, training staff. So after the implementation of Clever LMS, the uh, involvement of supervisors in the initial training of staff has been reduced to two working days, you know, from 25. Uh, and then um, the company gained 15 working days of supervisor time. So the time that supervisors were, were using to train, supervisors could now do their own work. Um, and then, of course, the increase in frequency of net uh, network visit and improved um, quality of work. So, also we have a case study with um, not not gold. So, um, not gold, an international gold mining company with eight thousand plus employees on three continents. So, their peculiarities: um, international uh, composition of employees, so different languages. We had to provide um, materials in different languages, um, shift work, and then remote work. Of course, it got more popular after the 2020 pandemic. So, yeah. So, 
after implementing um, Clever LMS, we reduced the cost of uh, continuous training by 50%. Uh, we reduced the time of adaptation to two days. So before implementation of our LMS system, it was seven to 10 days. And uh, the coverage of training um, increased by 20%. So training has become available to shift workers and even mobile employees. So this was, you know, this was a good achievement for us. Um, the last but not the least case study that I will be sharing is the one with uh, Lafarge on Olsen, um, the world's leading manufacturer of building materials. So our task, or what they asked us to do was systemization of staff training and external drivers. Um, ensuring compliance with traffic regulations by all employees and reduction of accidents and incidents. So after, you know, implementing Clever LMS, um, the efficiency of LMS implementation at the end of the year, reduction in violation of labor protection rules by 25%, reduction of traffic violation by 30%, the number of incidents caused by company drivers and partners reduced by 40% over the same period of 2018 when you know we started the project. And then time spent on training reduced by 33%. And 100% of the drivers are trained and their knowledge um, in all processes are tested. So we created training programs and also um, test to make sure that they got, you know, the information. So basically, that is all about um, our presentation today. Um, well, um, so you're welcome to, you know, leave any uh, message in the chat below, and uh, we will be taking some questions now, and then we will go into a short live demo of our web version. But let's see, does anyone have any question? Any questions? Okay, so I will just add on into the live um, demo. Okay. Sorry about that. So like I said in uh, the webinar just now, so Clever LMS is the platform that is used to train, motivate, and manage staff. Our platform is not only for learning. You can also implement pre-boarding and onboarding processes, internal communication, knowledge base, and motivation tools. Um, we make full customizations for our clients, so it is 100% white label. You have got your own name, corporate colors, your logo, full branding. It is also integratable with third-party applications to make user experience more interesting and focused all in one app. Um, there is the presence of the web and mobile version. As you can see, this is the mobile version here. So today, I will just show you our simple but you know sophisticated user interface. Um, the layout is easy to navigate. As you can see, all the side, uh, all the menu items are on the collapsible left um, left side panel. And the first um, first um, page you see is the home page. So um, the the first page the user sees when they log in is the home page. Uh, it contains employees' profile, um, training progress. Um, you can see your training progress, your results. You can see widgets that dis display important and necessary information. You can um, users can continue from where they left off um, in their training. Also, um, you can see your award and ranking. Uh, this is part of the motivation. Um, tool that we have. So the leaderboard and award system, you can also see it from the from the home page. Um, the next um, um, 
menu would be the learning journeys. Um, so basically, um, learning journeys. This is a track of um, this is a track of employee training uh, consisting of unlimited training materials with pre-arranged order of um, completion. So as you can see, you can see um, that this has been arranged pretty much the way um, you, so you can discuss this, uh, you can discuss this um, uh, course with the, um, the providers. So we have different, um, so training programs are universal to the containment types of um, material. So we have the long read. So basically the long read is an inbuilt authoring tool that you can use to create articles with images and links. So basically, this is what it looks like, long read, as it implies. And um, yeah, um, also we have videos. Um, with videos, we have interactive inserts that would um, definitely yeah. add You see something like this, where the user test themselves before you know they can continue. And for example, um, if the user fails this question, the video um, takes them back to the beginning as you can see in this uh, presentation. So this is very interesting. And this would make sure that you know, your users are following the, um, the videos. Also, we have different types of documents like PDFs and all the um, and all the Microsoft Office um, formats of documents um, is supported here. We have um, links to both uh, internal and external. Um, so this took us to another part of um, the inside the the platform, and we have links that take us, you know, also outside, you know, the platform as you can see here. So um, also we have tests. Um, we have tests to check the um, knowledge of your users, which they can also get rating points for. We have SCORM files. Usually these are interactive presentations uh, with built-in test assignments. Usually it's um, created by a third-party developer, but you know, if you have them, it will definitely, you know, work on our system. So I'll just show you what SCOM looks like. So it's just an interactive presentation. So we have to wait for it to load up a bit. And also we have um, the uh, HTML5 catalog. So if you have all those types of documents, you're sure that it will work with our... Employers who emphasize safety tend to realize improved employee morale. All right, so that is said on. So with the with the entire arsenal of these training programs, you can create um, unique and most importantly effective training materials for comprehensive training and um, um, of employees. Um, next, we have the test and survey. Um, basically, test and survey. Um, is a section that will allow you to test the knowledge and competencies of your users with um, detailed um, statistics for administrators will help you form a direction of training for individual users. Um, you can also pass messages to your team here. Like I said, we have communication tools. So this would help you, you know, to talk to your team and pass them important message. Nobody would be left out. Uh, we have the media here. Basically, we use it to uh, organize competitions. It's it's our it's our social media inside our platform. So you have uh, you can co um, conduct um, competitions like um, employee of the month. You can upload videos and you can create chats between managers or between um, staff members. So you can do this. Also, we have like um, documents or knowledge base. It's also, some people also call it the e-library. So this is basically where you put in important documents for your staff. 
uh, for different departments, maybe important books for restaurants. Um, they can put in their recipes and their wine catalogs. Uh, you can put in skill books for the use, you know, to train your, your users, make materials and resources available uh, basically for them. Um, in this, also, we have a special mobile office for managers. Care managers can, ch can check the, the progress of their own subordinates. And, um, you know, they can see the materials that are available to their subordinates. They can see the deadlines. They can also award the users um, with, um, you know, badges. So you can just click on this. You can award them well done. You can also give, you know, negative badges for maybe a job, you know, not well done. So something like this. So, yeah. So this is part of the motivation tools that, you know, that I talked about. Uh, and this will be available to all managers. So it's like a mobile office, like I said. Here, um, users can see their ratings in the uh, leaderboard of the company. So we have this guy, June Daves, is currently the golden boy <laughs> of the company. So he, uh, basically, how do you get the points? You, you get points by completing the tasks that are given to you. You get um, points by taking tests, you get points by awards or bad, uh, badges that were awarded to you by um, your manager. So this would help everyone to, you know, want to do better, basically. Um, rating system, you can see um, your results. You can see the, um, the, uh, the materials that you have passed and the ones that you have failed. Uh, basically by clicking all. So you can see your KPIs if you have them. And you can also see the certificates that have been awarded to you. So yeah, you can choose to, you know, download them and print them and frame them, or you can just leave them as electronic, you know. Um, gift store, usually it's, um, it's different for each, um, employ uh, for each company so you can implement it if you want basically by integrating a gift provider and users will be able to spend the points that they have here in the gift store so basically that is all about gift store so for tasks um they are they are an interactive practical section that can be used in many ways. Yeah, you can not only motivate employees to learn, but you can also um, get feedbacks from them, test their knowledge in practice, and set up a re reporting system. So this will help you better understand and optimize your work processes. No restrictions, just creativity. So uh, to create unique, unique tasks for your business, you can use you know, different fields. Um, you can use different fields. You can use um, um, like emails, dates, um, text field, phone number, numerics field, uh, QR code scanner, multiple choice. You can also use tasks to collect um, geolocation. So it's very you know intuitive, very um, useful for merchandisers, for developers to give um, technical um, specifications and all that. So basically for practical um for practical use um here we have events and these events can be um automatically uh what's it called um added to calendars can be synced with calendars you can just add them to calendars um so i don't want to do that basically so here you can plan um company events you can have online or offline events uh you can um Events can uh, events help to organize rallies online in Zoom or offline training with invited speakers. So our platform is also integrated with Zoom, and here it gives you you know more statistics. Like I said, um, you know you get to see who comes into the um, the event, the online event, when they left, or 
you know, when they checked out or when they checked in, basically, and you get to see, you know, how engaging they were. You know, in event section, an employee can sign up for corporate course webinar or other events. Uh, before starting, participants receive push notifications on their phones. So that's one thing we also have. You can get notifications for all the um, different um, modules that we have, all the different menus that we have here. And um, your employees will never have to miss out on anything. So basically, that is the end of our, our presentation. Now I would also be taking you know, more questions if you have them. So thank you for joining. It's been a pleasure to share about our company with you, to share about our platform, to share about how to measure the effectiveness of um, you know, employee training. At the end of the day, every company's goal is to um, maximize profits. So if you can take these steps to do that, then you're welcome. You can uh, go to our website, you can find um, more details and you can also order, you know, you can also um, schedule a demo and we will be there to walk you through um, all the necessary um, things that you might need to get started. Um, so thank you for joining. Thank you everyone for coming um, till we meet again. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.